Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case here for the iPhone 15 Pro. Now this is the frosted clear color. They do come in a few different colors, I'll link them down below. But with this one in particular, it's $16.99 on Amazon. So if you are interested in scooping this up for your new iPhone 15 lineup, then do follow my affiliate links down in the description. But let's get this out here. So I actually haven't tested one of the frosted clear versions. I've only tested frost black and just their generic, um, you know, clear back one with the matte black sides. Um, so let's go ahead and pull this out and we'll get this out here. All right. And as you can see, we got some different stuff working here as far as the wrapping inside. So we'll see if we can pull this one off without it actually ripping, which it almost will. Almost does it every single time. But there's one. Let's get this one. Number two. And there we go. So not much to it, guys, right? It's a clear case, but it is ultra hybrid. I really like ultra hybrid cases. And as you can see how uh, kind of blurry my hand is there, it is semi-frosted. So it's kind of got a little bit of some texture on the back versus just a generic clear case. Uh, the sides are very crystal clear, as you can see. And then looking at the interior, kind of the same thing. Difference is, is the interior feels different than the exterior here. Uh, so it is a little bit more gummier inside. I don't want to touch it with my finger. That's why I'm doing it with my knuckle. Um, but as you can see here as well, it says air cushion technology. So we are getting those little tiny airbags in the corner. So that's going to help with drop protection to give your iPhone 15 Pro a fighting chance if you do accidentally drop it. Uh, so let's grab it and slap it in. So I'm going to start with the most button side, which is going to be where the action button and all that is. And there we go. So I got to say just right off the bat, first time I've put it on my phone, it looks really good. Uh, I, I've been testing the frost black all day today, which I'll be dropping a video uh, shortly on that. But with this frosted clear color, you really get to show off the color of your device. That Apple logos pop in really nice, but there's no fingerprint issues with this type of back uh, and really no smudging issues either, uh, especially with the frost black one. I've been, like I said, using it all day today and not once did I have to wipe it down. But if you like to use skins on your phone or something like that, then you're going to really like this because it's not gonna show the imperfections of maybe like fingerprints or anything like that from your device. And then when it comes to the actual camera bump, you can see that we do kind of have a high gloss raised lip right there around the actual camera bump and the lenses. They're nicely recessed in there. So we got a really good uh, look there of kind of how those are protected. And then other than that, that's pretty much it on the back, except for we do have some little raised corners here as well that's going to help at least try to even out the device, which we'll test with the wobble test here in just a bit. But when it comes down to the side here, as you can see, it's very clear. You can see the antenna bands and all that stuff there. We do have a clear raised power button there as well. And then moving down to the bottom here, we do have some holes for a little lanyard cutout. You can see the little airbags there as far as the corner with the air cushion technology that I'm talking about. And then looking here at the bottom, USB-C charging port and our speakers. So nice, generous cutouts there. And then flipping it over to this side, you can see one, the Spigen branding right there. So got some very nice Spigen branding that's kind of uh, etched in a little bit, but you can't fill it. And then we have our uh, three other buttons. So we got our volume up and down buttons and our action button here. And we'll test the clickiness in just a bit. And then you can see once again, the actual little air cushion uh, part there. And then here at the top, it does say air cushion technology. So I'll try to get that in focus. There we go. So there's the top down look. So I always like to show you the front lips just a little bit. So as you can see there, lip action all around. So you are getting good 360 protection on your screen. So if you do drop it face down, at least you're not cringing completely. And as you can see with it being clear on the side, you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like looking at it from the top down. Now let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So I'm gonna put it face down, no shaking at all going on face down, but back down, little bit of some shaking, especially on the corner, which 
I mean, it is what it is with an iPhone 15 Pro or 14 Pro, but definitely got a big bump there with some lens protection. So it's gonna definitely be shaky a little bit. Uh, and then now let's go and do the clicky button test. So let's start with that power button first. Very clicky and tactile. And let's do volume up and down. Volume up is good. Volume down is good. So very clicky and tactile. And then let's push that action button. As you can see, toggling between silent and ring and it's working just fine. So no issues at all there. So next let's do the MagSafe charging capability here. So as you can tell with this, unfortunately, there is no MagSafe magnets. Uh, that's why this one's a little bit cheaper. Now they do have the MagFit versions that do hike up in price a tad bit, but it's not a lot. I mean, you're talking maybe like to $20 or something like that. Uh, which might be well worth the investment to spend the extra five or six bucks to get those MagSafe rings. But with that being said, it is MagSafe charging compatible. So there is no issue at all there, but the issue becomes how strong of a connection. So right now it's on there and you can see how it finds it. But as soon as I pick it up, do a little baby shake, the thing slides right off. So unfortunately, if you do use MagSafe accessories in your vehicle or at your home or desk, uh, they're not gonna work very well with this at all, but it does technically work. So if you put it on a MagSafe charger that goes down like that, or you have a Qi wireless charging pad or something that you wanna wirelessly charge this with, it'll work just fine. And you can definitely use Apple Pay and all the contactless goodness with your iPhone. So who is this case for? This case is gonna be for someone who likes clear cases, but doesn't like to deal with fingerprints and smudge issues all the time. I like clear cases. I like for them to show off the color of my phone or the skins that I have. But like I said, they are fingerprint magnets nine times out of 10. And that's just not the case with this one or not the case, get it, case, not the case. But anyways, uh, so yeah, definitely a pretty dang nice case. Now the sides are gummy, so feels good in the hands. Uh, so no complaints there on my end either. So all in all guys, a good case. Yeah, for $16.99. Now I think right now it's 5% less if you click my Amazon link down in the description uh, and apply that to the cart. Um, I think you're saving almost the taxes if you use that, so yeah. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. I'll see you on the next one.